Welcome back guys. Got another video. Zendikar Horizon Collector's Booster. Shouldn't be any surprise. So far we're up to four Zendikar Horizon box toppers in the bank. As soon as I open up all these boxes, I'm probably going to crack those in a separate video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. You show them the case. Yeah, in the first video. Six toppers. I'd say so far in the first two boxes that we've done, what is about average of two mm -hmm. expeditions. Yeah, two, which, which there's what two expeditions per box usually, or mm -hmm. usually about three. Not counting the box toppers. Excluding the box toppers, I would say two is a pretty fair number. Pack one. How you want to do it? Six and six. Mm -hmm. You want to alternate, or you want to? You no, know, you do your six. I do my six. Unless you just want to do all twelve. One glass C4 stalker. We need to get our organization game better. Dreadworm, McKinney Ox, Morfolk Falconer, Zoff Consumption, Swamp. I love this swamp. I really do. Cargan Intimidator, Legion Angel. Canopy Bayloth, Prowling Felidar, Kazandu Mammoth Showcase Rare, Canopy Bayloth, and Shadow's Verdict. Yeah, how about this? We'll put all of our rares in the middle where everybody can see can be mythics. Sound cool guy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to do this video in 10 minutes because these things are getting long. I think, you think we could complete the set? Maybe. We opened up a lot. Another Morog. So we got our first Mythic. Dreadworm Foil. Misty. Misty Rainforest. Oh my god. First expedition of the box is Misty Rainforest. Foil. That was a good pack, buddy. Put that separately. Expedition separate. Oh, bro. <laughs> wow. Second Misty that we've gotten. Whew. In terms of value, that's one of the ones you want to hit. Expedition Skulker, Lunar Tempest, Cleansing Wildfire. That's a very good common. And I know it seems like I'm flying through them, but I promise you, behind the scenes, I'm like reading every card and like plotting for a deck. Magmatic Channeler. Oops. Throne of McKindy. Canopy Bayloth. Brushfire Elemental. Skyclave Shade. Verisol. Split Current. What do you think of this set? Zendikar, yeah. I, mean, I like it. I, I like it. I know some of the cards, like the vampires, are awesome. Zagras, no priest of oblivion. <laughs> Might of Marasa, Scale of the Heights, Clear Control Depths, Exposition Champion, Shadow Stinger, Kalani Ambush. I also like the double sided cards. At first, when the set was leaked, I was like, Shadow Skull Smashing, that's a good one. Mythic. Kazandu Mammoth, Territorial Scythe Cat, First Flower Elemental, Prince Off Pathway, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Mutal Verge Pathway. Very cool. Yeah, when the set was announced, I was like, oh, the double sided cards. Uh, but actually seeing them, I really like it. I like the concept. You can, and the fact you can, like, use it as needed like Academy's Awakening you know could be a land mm -hmm. if you really desperately need it I like that mechanic I don't think we've got one of those yet Tuk Tuk Acquisitions Expert Tuk Tuk Edition Conundrum Nahiri Hair of the Ancients 
Mythic. Cool. Dreadworm. Canyon Draboa. Felidar Retreat. Territorial Scythe Cat. Turn Timber Symbiosis. Extended Art Foil. That's another very, very solid hit. For Zenithar Rising. Plus Morog. I don't know. More... Magmatic Channel has my favorite art, but I think Morog is your favorite ability. Yeah, only because it fits in with my Kalia deck so well. Bay and Veil. Vale. That's a sweet looking card. I love it. Sorry, James. Still haven't got a whirlpool, buddy. Valid Cut Exploration. Showcase Rare. Canyon Jerboa, Scattershot, Charger. Some of these names like get me tongue tied. <laughs> I try while I'm reading them quick. Oh, that's one of my packs. Huh? That's one of my packs. I thought I was doing all 12. You can do the next box. How about that? There we go. Leyline Tyrant Extended Art. Mythic. Very solid. Coveted prize. Skyclave Pickaxe. Ruin Crab. Phylath. Kloom Hellhound. Clearwater Pathway. Mark Water. Leyline Tyrant. I'd love to get that in a foil. Oh, you know what we could do, Jake? We could do a draft with the last one. What do you think? I don't know if these would be good to draft with. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Right climb. Prowling Felidor. Ooh, go on clinical. Talked a lot about value. <laughs> That's one you don't really want to hit. It looks cool. But the ability is a lot to be desired. Especially for a three drop. I'm sure somebody will find a use for it though. And I'll be very interested to see how they incorporate that in the deck. Got our planes. Got our Xerath Sand Extended. Luminarc Aspirant. Dreadworm. Territorial Scythe Cat. Another Clear Water. Spitfire Legac. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> Well, Morag Fury of Akum Foil Showcase. You said we did. I thought you got another expedition. Oh, <laughs> who knows? Maybe. Maybe this pack. I feel like the last pack's going to be expedition. Like the last video. Exactly, GOP. Forest. Tabrax, first time we've seen him. Clearwater Pathway. The Gek. Geopeef. Nahiri. Ruin Crab. Nissa Shadow Bows. Pretty. Got some nice mythics. Right? Beckoning, Utility Knife, Nahiri Binding, Core Blade Master, Forest Shadow Verdict, No Priest Foil, cool, Candy Ox, Skyclave Squid, Crag Crown Pathway, Skyclave Squid, and 
Scoot Swarm Foil Showcase. Cool. Last pack. I guess if your box was to only have one expedition, you know it could be Misty Rainforest. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll hit our average. Ooh, Lithoform. Nice. McKindy Ox. He's gonna do Nectar Pot. This guy plays Shade. All kind of a Myria. So, we only got one Expedition. But it was a nice one. I still think it was a very solid box, even without another Expedition. Of course, we got our lands. Got a Lithoform Engine, Nissa, Nahiri, Mirag Foil, Zareth Sand, Leyline Tyrant, Turn Timber, Nahiri, Shadow Soul Smashing, and another Morog. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe because we're going to be cracking open these box toppers in a separate video.